a tutorial and show you how to make these amigurumi jellyfish. Aren't they cute? I really love this rainbow one. I'll show y'all what yarn I'm using. It's a um, it's a lion brand yarn, and I'll show y'all exactly which yarn I'm using here in a minute when I show y'all everything that y'all need. But um, I will show y'all how to make them from start to finish, and also I'm gonna show y'all how to make the legs in a way that they are crocheted all together, so you don't have to ta attach them individually. That's one of the biggest things I found with crocheting little octopuses or jellyfish is the legs because people are like I don't want to have to attach them one at a time so I'm gonna show y'all how to attach them all at the same time because when you have um, eight different legs that can be very time consuming and it can make a lot of ends to weave in so we'll just jump right into this and I'll show y'all what you need to get started okay so to make this of course you're going to need a um, crochet hook I'm using an E or a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for this pattern you'll need a yarn needle um, a stitch marker helps. I like using stitch markers. Um, for my eyes, I am using some felt eyes that I made. You could also just embroider some black yarn, or you could use safety eyes. So it's whatever you prefer. I make my own felt eyes, so I'm using these. Um, some polyfill. And then for the yarn, I am using Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. It is a cotton blend of yarn. It has this really nice texture, which I really like. It works great for all my grooming and stuff and the colors are so pretty this comes in multiple colors of course you just previously saw some of them and they're fun and bright and i think it's just perfect for the jellyfish this one is the color strawberry and for those of y'all wondering it's 47 percent cotton and 53 percent acrylic and it is a number four yarn but i just really like it it's a really fun yarn to use and so we'll just jump right into this and get started on making our jellyfish Okay, so to get started in this pattern, I'm going to make a magic ring to start to put my stitches in. So to make a magic ring, I just take my tail to in my left hand, and then I'm going to take the working yarn, and I'm going to make a circle, like so. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. So once I make a circle, I'm going to insert my hook under this, and then I'm going to grab that piece of yarn up there like so. And there is my loop and I chain one to secure and that is how you make a magic ring for those of y'all that don't know how to make a magic ring I'll jump back out okay so to get started we're gonna place six single crochet in this magic ring or magic circle they can be called either and it's the same thing five and six and then you can just pull your tail start and if you don't know how to make a magic ring or circle and you don't want to you can always just make a, a chain stitch and then work your stitches you can chain two and work those six stitches in that first chain but most amigurumi starts with a um magic circle so it's really worth learning and it works really well for amigurumi so at the end of round one of course we have six stitches for round two we are going to work two single crochet in each stitch around so I'm just going to work two single crochet in each stitch. And after this next row, I'll probably use my stitch marker. The first couple rows, I don't usually use it because there's not that many stitches. Okay, after the end of round two, you should have 12 stitches. For round three, you're going to work a single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. I'm gonna place my stitch marker so I don't lose my spot. Once more, we will single crochet in one stitch, two single crochet in the next. And I'll repeat that all the way around. At the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches. Going on to round four, we're going to single crochet in two stitches. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. And we will repeat that all the way around. We will single crochet in two stitches, two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around for round four. At the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches. And also, I want to show y'all when um, I do Omicrumi with a magic circle, after I have a few rows done, I go ahead and find a stitch and I tie a knot. 
with his tail so when I stuff it later on um, the uh, opening doesn't try to open that hole doesn't try to open back up because it's not knotted when you pull it it just closes it and I like to make sure it doesn't come undone so I make a knot pull my yarn through and tie a knot to secure it to make sure it doesn't open up and it doesn't lose its stuffing later on so on to round five on round five you're going to single crochet in three stitches two three and then you're going to work two single crochet in the next stitch so i'll repeat that all the way around single crochet in three stitches two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that all the way around Okay, so at the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches. On to round six, which is going to be our last increase row. We will single crochet in four stitches and then single crochet in two stitches. So there's one, two, three, four. And then we're going to place two single crochet in the next stitch. And you'll repeat that all the way around. You will place a single crochet in four stitches and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that all the way around. Okay, so at the end of round six, you should have 36 stitches. Then um, rounds seven through nine will be worked the same way. We will place a single crochet in each stitch around. So I will do rows seven through nine and meet you back up after I finish row nine. And we will just place a single crochet in each uh, stitch around. Okay, so I have just finished row 9. For row 10, we are going to start our decreases. We are going to single crochet in 4 stitches. 3, 4. And then work a decrease or single crochet 2 stitches together for the next 2 stitches. And you'll repeat that all the way around. Single crochet in 4 stitches and work a decrease or single crochet 2 stitches together. I repeat that all the way around. Okay, so at the end of round 10, you should have 30 stitches. For rounds 11, 12, and 13, I'm just going to work a single crochet in each stitch. So I'll say that again. So rounds 11, 12, and 13. So for three rounds, you're going to just work a single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so I just finished round 13. And moving on to round 14, this is another decrease row. We are going to single crochet in three stitches, two, three, and then work a decrease or single crochet two stitches together over the next two stitches, like so. So I'll repeat that all the way around for round uh, 14, single crochet in three stitches, decrease over the next two stitches. Okay, so at the end of round 14, you should have 24 stitches. Now I will do another three rows of just single crochet rounds. So rounds 15, 16, and 17, I will place one single crochet in each stitch around. And I'll repeat it again for rows 15, 16, and 17, place one single crochet in each stitch around. So at the end of round 17, you should still have 24 stitches. And we'll go on to round 18, but before we go on to 18, I'm gonna go ahead and take some polyfill. And we're going to start stuffing the little head here because if we decrease much more, we won't have room to stuff it. So I'm going to go ahead and... And now is also the time to place your uh, safety eyes in place if you're going to use those instead of felt eyes or uh, yarn. So now we're going to go on to row um, 18. So for round 18, we're going to single crochet in two stitches and decrease and we'll repeat that all the way around single crochet in two stitches decrease for row or round 18 okay so at the end of round 18 you should have 18 stitches for round 19 i am going to work a decrease or single crochet two stitches together all the way around there's one I'm going to do that single crochet two stitches together or decrease all the way around for round uh, 19. So at the end of round 19, you should have nine stitches. Then for the very last round, round 20, I'm going to single crochet in one stitch, single crochet two stitches together. 
I'm going to repeat that all the way around. One. Decrease. So you basically just want to do it three times. And decrease. So after round 20, you should have six stitches. I'm going to uh, cut my yarn, leave me a tail. Pull this through, pull my tail through. And then I'm gonna close the hole up. I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and close the hole. I'm simply going to go through the top loop of each stitch and close the hole. Pull it and it closes up. I'm going to tie a knot and weave in this end, and then we're going to go on and make the uh, I'll show you how I make the legs. Okay, so now we're going to make the legs, and like I said, they're all going to be joined on the one piece that we have to stitch on, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, to start, I just made a slip knot and put on my hook. I'm going to start by chaining 10 stitches four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the very first stitch I made and form a ring. So there is a ring I've made. So all the legs are going to be attached to this ring so that we can just sew it on to the octopus when we finish. So for the first leg, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chain 30 stitches. Okay, so now that I have 30 stitches, what we're simply going to do is in the second stitch from our hook, we're going to work three single crochet in that stitch. And then we are going to work three single crochet in each stitch down until we get all the way back to the ring. And that's going to cause this to curl. Because if you'll see one of these other ones that I've done, that's all I've done and it causes it to curl and make these curly cues. So I'm going to work three single crochet in each stitch down and I'll meet y'all back when I get to the ring. Now that I've worked all the way back up to the ring, I'm simply going to single crochet into the ring to attach that leg and that leg is finished. So now I'll just repeat that in a similar manner and make the other legs. You'll have eight legs in total and I'm gonna alternate between 30 and 40 stitches for each leg. So this next leg I do, I'm going to chain 40 stitches and work it the same way I did this leg. So this one was 30. The next leg is going to be 40 and then I'll alternate 30, 40 because I like the difference and I'll show y'all of the shorter and longer legs. It kind of gives it just a little bit I like some longer and some shorter. So that's why I did that. So the next one, like I said, will be 40 stitches and you're just going to do it the same way that I done this leg. I'm going to chain 40, second stitch from my crochet hook, I'm going to place three single crochet, and I'm going to work three single crochet in each stitch till I get back to uh, this ring. And then I'll just single crochet into the ring, and I'll alternate between 30 and 40 stitches for each leg, and you'll do that until you have a total of eight legs. And I will meet y'all back up when I finish my eight legs. Okay, so I've now finished all eight of my legs, and I've cut my yarn, leaving a long tail to um, use to attach the legs to the head. So this is what it looks like. So I went ahead and put my yarn needle on the end of my yarn. I'm gonna turn this over and basically to attach it, I just put the middle of it there and you kind of lay it and see what you think. But I usually just put the very middle there and then I flip it over like so. So all my legs are laid on it. And I just get my tail I'll zoom in a little bit so you'll see a little bit more of what I'm doing. I just find a stitch and then just go up the middle of this ring because there's my ring. Y'all can see that and go up the middle. And I'll do this one again. And then I just go around. So there's one and you'll do that. And then I'll go over in between these next two legs. Look, I'll find me a spot. And 
and do it like so. I'll turn it and go to the next leg. And I just keep doing it all the way around to have all the legs of tarot sewed on all the way around. Going all the way around now, I'm just going to tie a knot, find a spot here, and knot it. And then blue just in them. There's that. Okay, so now I just need to attach the eyes. To attach my felt eyes that I'm doing, I, of course, just use a hot glue gun. Um, I've seen people or heard people use fabric glue. I've never tried fabric glue. I just use a hot glue gun. That's my favorite way to attach them. So I'm just going to take my little eyes, lay them about where I want, like so. Let's have my hot glue gun is ready. And then I'll just take out my eye. Place a generous amount of hot glue on the back of it and just line it up where I want. And if you'll do it real quick, and just press it. Okay, and then I'll repeat it with the, this side. Kind of twist it where you want it and then you can press it on. And uh, that is all there is to make these a little jellyfish. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure and subscribe to my channel if y'all haven't already. And check out my blog for more free crochet patterns and happy crocheting, guys.